fucking bitch. This is not a good way to start my morning. That's the second time that's happened to me. And it's because every time I grab it, I grab it like this, and then it pops out. pre-workout meal for today. This is gonna be oatmeal with a little bit of uh, granola crunch. And we're also gonna do some egg whites. I also put uh, Hershey syrup to make it a little sweeter. <laughs> just so you know, I can't cook for nothing. I'm just good at toasting bread and that's it. I just started doing egg whites just to, to get a little bit more protein in. But yeah, I'm gonna see how that falls into my stomach. Hopefully it doesn't upset it. So real quick, just to cut in the video, I'm actually editing it right now. Look, I realized that while I was editing the video, I didn't even put in the video to smash the like button and smash the subscribe button. Smash! Just smash, just smash. Uh, we about to head to the gym real quick just to let you guys know the goal today is to hit four sets of five reps on deadlifts with 405, which will be a new PR for me. So let's see if I can get that. It all depends on how I feel while I'm warming up. I'm going to see you guys over there. I'm about to blast this Eminem album, see what's up, and I'll see you at the gym. Jeff, we here in my mom's porch, which happens to look like a forest. I don't know why she got all these plants. Anyways, today I'm gonna answer some of the questions that I got on Instagram. What I'm gonna do is, cause I got like, I got a few questions, not too many, and I'm not gonna try to make it too long, but what I'm gonna do is, I'm gonna play the footage from my dentist session while I'm talking so you guys won't get bored just looking at my face. So let's get to it. All right, so the first question we got is, damn, straight to the point. Will you give training sessions? To keep it simple, no. Reason is because I don't really have the time for it. That's why I'm doing these videos to try to give advice to people and help them out any way that I can. I keep saying this, but I'm not an expert. I just give advice based on my experience and like uh, things that I just agree with that I don't agree with, things that make sense to me, you know? I don't give training sessions. It, it's hard to come by because I'm usually, I usually go in, do what I gotta do when I get out and then I like do my videos, edit it, uh, Whatever. Sometimes I'm gonna write music because I don't really have the time. That's pretty much it. I really don't have the time. So, but if anybody has any questions, fitness related or whatever, ask me. I'll try my best to help you guys out. All right, we're gonna get to the second question. All right, the second question is: Out of the seven days, how often should I go? That's a really good question because I know a lot of people don't know how often they should go to the gym. This really depends on your schedule. It depends on when you can make time for it. I'll say that it's best if you have a really tight schedule, it's best to try to at least go three times a week. And if you're only gonna go three times a week, for example, Monday, Wednesday, and Friday, it's good to try to do full body workouts just to hit everything more than once a week. Cause I did say that in my last video, you wanna at least hit every muscle group twice in one week. So if you're only gonna go Monday, Wednesday, and Friday, do full body, or you could do door split, like an upper body Monday, lower body Tuesday, off Wednesday, upper body Monday, uh, sorry, upper body Thursday, lower body Friday, off Saturday and Sunday. So it really depends how you want to prioritize this. It's, all, it's up to you. There's no right or wrong answer. You can work around it however you want. You just got to make sure that if you are going to hit your muscle groups more than once per week, you need a little bit of rest. It all depends. It all depends. It just comes down to what your schedule is. Like if, what you could do is if you can hit me up again, tell me what your schedule is now. Tell me like what, um, how often you go right now. And then I'll tell you like, that's fine or whatever, you know? So that really comes down to your schedule and when you think you can go, but you have to make it a priority. It's not like, well, I'm gonna go now for like a week or two and then stop. Nah, you wanna make it a priority. Understand that this is long-term. I said that before, it's long-term, it's not short-term. Enjoy the process. Get to know about your body and that's it. Like that. go from there. All right, I got the next question. What's a good diet to follow? It was Matt Cold in his porch. 
What's a good diet to follow? So to answer this, there is no one good diet to follow. The best diet is the one that you could stick to. There's so many diets. There's a low, uh, what is it? The vegan diet, low carb diet, low fat diet, freaking um, if it fits your macros diet, the keto diet. You could Google all of these. What's different types of diets? But at the end of the day, it comes down to what you could stick to. Because a lot of times when people hear the word diet, they immediately think that like, okay, that's it. I can't eat junk food. I can't eat processed food. Like no more McDonald's. And that's not okay. Like, because you're kind of setting yourself up for failure long term. Because in reality, it's like, can you handle that? Can you handle cutting everything out? Or are you gonna wanna eat some of the, some of the uh, bad stuff here and there? Like for instance, me, I do um, if it fits your macros diet, which pretty much means um, I can eat whatever I want. I just gotta make sure that I get my uh, daily caloric intake. Like I get my the certain amount of protein that I'm supposed to hit every day. Uh, as carbs and fats. I've been doing it for so long already that I don't really have to track everything anymore. I just, I kind of eat the same way. But if I want to have like pizza, if I want to have McDonald's, like I'll do it without thinking twice about it because I know it's not something that I do on a regular basis. I do that probably like once a week or once a month, something like that. So you do have to make smart food choices, but you don't have to eliminate everything that's deemed really bad for you. And granted, yes, there is a big difference between healthy foods and processed foods. It comes down to what you could stick to. Like, you know, fried food, eating that salami, the tre gorbe, mango, fried cheese and all that. That's not really good. It's, it's actually not. You know, you could eat it, but it shouldn't be something you eat on a regular basis because it's not good for you internally. What you guys need to understand is that food, the nutrients in foods have a purpose. They serve a purpose in our bodies. For example, and listen, I don't know too much about this. Don't quote me or anything for whoever knows more than me. I just know a little bit. I'm gonna give an example. Carbohydrates like in um, oatmeal give your body energy to do things. You have protein and foods like a protein shake or whatever or eggs that help you build and preserve muscle. Then you have fat that help with your brain your brain functioning properly you need to understand like all these nutrients play a part in the body that's why it is important for you to make sure that more than half of the foods you eat are good for you it's true when they say you know you eat like shit you're gonna feel like shit you are what you eat it's true you keep eating like crap you're gonna feel like crap and you're gonna look like crap it's good to start little by little cutting out the bad foods and implementing more good foods you don't have this is the thing to give you guys a tip you don't have to immediately like oh I'm gonna stop eating all of this and that's it because i want to be healthy do it little by little because you might uh set yourself up for failure by doing that because you weren't ready to take that huge jump cut something out here and then once you see that you actually did it cut something else out and you start building that confidence like okay i got this because it's really a mental game that's all you don't have to make it so complicated like no one just because you follow just because you follow a diet doesn't mean you're gonna become healthy all of a sudden that's not how it works next question i got here is what food is best to eat when trying to build muscle well, when it comes to trying to build muscle first and foremost you need to be eating a sufficient amount of protein usually they say like 0.8 to 1 gram per pound of uh, body weight. So if you weigh like 170, you want to get at least like 160 to 170 grams of uh, protein. But you also have to be in a calorie surplus. For you guys that don't know, this is so simple. People make it so complicated. If you want to gain weight, you need to be in a calorie surplus. If you want to lose weight, you need to be in a calorie deficit. This is me for an example. This is me right here. This is my line my maintenance line, we all have this line. If we all eat a certain way and do the same activities day in and day out, right? We will not gain or lose weight, we will stay here if we eat the same and do the same thing. Now, let's say you start, this is 2,000 calories. Let's say I start eating 2,500 calories. Now I'm at a surplus, I'm up here. Now I might start gaining a little bit of weight. That's how it works. Now let's say I'm back in 2,000, 2,000 calories per day, doing the same thing, right? I eat 1,500 calories. Now I'm at a deficit. I will lose some weight, a little bit. May not be a lot, but I will lose some weight. That's how it works. You wanna build muscle, you need to feed your body. You need to give it the uh, proper nutrients in order for it to have a reason to grow. To build muscle, the best type of foods is uh, foods that contain a lot of protein. And make sure you're eating more than enough, you know, not too much. Well, more than enough, you know. I'm pretty sure you know what foods contain protein. If not, just Google it. We Google everything, man. That's what I do. All right, the next question I have here is, is the gym necessary? No, the gym is not necessary. What is necessary is you being active. I only use the gym as a reference. Like, that's one way to go about it. You could be active that way, but there's many ways to be active. You could dance, you 
play uh, sports, basketball, football. You can walk, ride bikes. As long as there's some form of being active, some form of activity, you're already winning. You want to continue to move. Moving is life. The gym isn't necessary, but I do recommend everyone to start doing something to be active. There's so many benefits, so many factors that play into working out that like naturally, you know, that you don't have to spend that much money. It's not even just, you're getting fit. It's like internally, you're becoming healthier. Your mind is gonna become more sharp. You're gonna have more energy. You're gonna be stronger. You're gonna react faster. You're gonna be happier. Be active because it's really rewarding. It's one of the best things naturally that you could do with a big return for you as long as you stick to it because it's hard work. The last question I got is, and I'm gonna take this as a serious question. How do you keep the butt muscle strong? If you don't use it, you lose it. You need to use your butt muscle. You need to do things that involve your butt muscles contracting. If they're contracting, they're being worked. If you wanna take it to a greater degree, you do exercises, squats, glute bridges, lunges, things that involve your uh, butt muscles being contracted. That's how you keep it strong, that's how you keep it healthy. If you don't use it, then it's just gonna be weak. That's simple, but yeah. That's pretty much it. I hope you guys got some kind of clarity on um, the questions you asked me, and I hope this helped. If you guys have any questions, please feel free to ask me, DM me, whatever, it don't matter, ask me. I'll be more than happy to help you guys out as much as I can. You already know. Thank you for watching. I'm out of here. Peace.